Okay, uh, this may be a little backwards or uh, mixed up, but um, I pulled up to this place that's kind of near my house. Um, it's kind of a cool black building, black background. Um, I shot some B-roll and um, a little, uh, I guess, overview of the levers, the Raximo, which is what this video will be uh, mostly about. Um, I'm going to try putting the DJI mic in my backpack and under the tail to see if I can capture some good um, exhaust sounds for you guys. Um, but, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and cut to the clip of, uh, the squeezers. So I have the levers I was talking about, the Raximos. I'm sure you can see that. Um, I'll start off with the clutch real quick. So very simple. You have up to six adjustments. So you can see right here, one through six and see how it goes out farther. It goes out really far and then it comes all the way in. Um, when I installed these. I didn't have to do any adjustments in the clutch lever or cable or anything like that. Like it was just, everything's perfect. Like it just, they came and they worked. Um, I will, uh, yeah. Uh, so you can see here, we still have 19, 20 and 21. So I have it on 21 currently. Um, that's just where I prefer it. Um, you can see that it still has the plunger thing in here. So I added a little bit of grease. Um, but same thing as the other side. So I have in mind on three. I just that's what I feel like it That's where I feel it's the best for me um, But I can go all the way out to six and it's it's far out there. So it, I mean I Think they were like a hundred and something dollars um, And I think it's totally worth the, the money I think they just I mean they look a little bit better and they're not super short, right? I know how it's super, you know opinionated, but I mean, like, I, it's a good three for me. I could do four. Ow, my leg was on the exhaust. That's hot. Uh, but, I mean, I could still do, like, a two, even a one, realistically. Um, and then same goes for the clutch as well. So that's kind of where I'd have my hands set. And then I can still grab all four. I can grab all three. It still hits my ring finger unless I'm out wider, right? So they're not super short, but they are shorter. And I like that they're a little bit more flat on this. So when you're grabbing it, it kind of goes with the flat part of your like knuckle. Um, and then you're, yeah, it's so, I don't know. I'll put a link for them, but yeah, I never see anyone talk about um, adjustable levers for this Brembo master cylinder thingy. So it works. Okay, here we are. Um, so yeah, a couple things on the agenda. Um, go over the levers, which I, I like, um, and I'll, I'll talk about them a little bit. Um, as we ride to a destination where I can uh, put the mic in my uh, backpack and then move it to my um, the tail um, just to see how the audio is because it's not like an H1N the zoom mic so I'm going to see if this uh, DJI mic can pick up good exhaust sounds um, either in my backpack or in the tail uh, so without further ado let's, uh, let's go ahead and get after it <laughs> All right, it is Friday. It's uh, 79 out, uh, so pretty much perfect riding weather, uh, if I do say so myself. <clears throat> I hope all of you guys are having a uh, fantastic start to your weekend. Hopefully you guys can go uh, get on some two wheels and uh, you know, have a ball. Do, do things that I would do. Which is just have fun, you know what I mean? You see the handlebars got a little yod. <clears throat> that could have been bad. That could have been real, real bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and get after it now. Hope the audio comes out as good as last video's. Last video's was that's what I was looking for right there. That's that was the 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 shit, if you will. See any cars coming? Yeah, but he's back. He's far back. Let's go ahead and get after it now. Whee! Man, this thing's too fun. All right. So the levers. This is like the last big mod that I'm gonna. Well, <laughs> big. Uh, the last big change that I'm going to do, I think for a while. So every video from here on out is going to be just random sporadic ideas that I have that I woke up one morning 
gathered and be like, I'm going to make a video on it. Why not? Um, I really do like the, the feel and the shape of these levers. Um, like I mentioned in the um, clip where I went over them, uh, they're, they're more boxy, uh, which I personally like. Uh, I feel like I can get more of a grasp on it. Uh, that not in a, eh, that and not to mention, uh, they're just the perfect amount shorter. They're not super short. Like I think the ASV ones are like really short. These ones are they're they're claimed to be shorties, but I don't think that they're like crazy crazy short. Um, like for me, um, I think that the the EvoTech uh, levers for the Trident 660 is like the best. Like I think those are just perfect um, in every way and I think that these are very close to that and I'm gonna be honest I feel like all the levers with this like design and stuff are all probably made in the same warehouse somewhere in China but for the lack of the matter I think that personally I just I I think they're great Um, ooh, sorry, I'm looking to see. There's always like cops on this road, so my dumb ass didn't look behind me before I did that. But I don't see anybody chasing me or going fast, so it should be good. Uh, yeah, so levers, I think if I remember correctly, they were like a hundred or something dollars, like low in the hundreds, like maybe 120 or something like that. And they shipped from Germany, they came pretty quickly. They bounced from like some weird, like parcel one, and then to USPS and then it was partnered with DHL so eh, whatever it may be they came quick um, and I'm pretty stoked about it uh, I just I feel like they give me a little bit more confidence with braking just because like I've mentioned previously um, I used to ride dirt bikes so I, I like the whole dirt bike small brake lever clutch lever type situation it's not gonna be for everybody uh, I know that for sure but they are perfect for me she is very so. gorgeous to me I would uh, highly recommend picking them up. Whoa, look at that thing. Sweet. Yeah, I was recording for that, cool. All right, um, I'm gonna pull over to the UPS and I'm going to throw the um, microphone in my backpack. I think that's probably gonna be a good place for it maybe underneath the tail like I said I'm gonna try both uh, so bear with me but this is gonna be the a little bit of the end for talking uh, for a little bit hopefully this car sees me
So that was exhaust clips from under the, uh, like in the tail and also uh, in my backpack. So I will label which ones are which, obviously. And you could decide which one's better. I'll also decide, but I'll take your thoughts into considerations. Okay, uh, I am on my way home now. Uh, so I'm just gonna go over the video, because why not? You guys aren't done for me to be talking yet, huh? Not really gonna get anything else from me this weekend now. This is it, this is what you get. Now, I don't like this, because I can't see a damn thing. And I'm going to get wet. So, I'm going to sidebar here. <clears throat> so many McDonald's in Oregon have these, like, fucking water features. Which is crazy, because living in California, where it's the land of the drought. Uh, I'm going to go for it. If I die, let me know. Yeah, so like all the McDonald's around here like have water features. It's like fountains and random shit. It's really odd, but anyway. Uh, so to go over the video, I showed you the the, uh, the squeezers, which are uh, an easy ten, uh, highly recommended mod. Maybe if you're a guy like me and, and don't have too much more to do to the bike that isn't like cosmetic and would end up putting the bike out. For example, uh, powder coating of certain things. Um, then yeah, levers would be cool. Like I said, they're not too short, but they are shorter than stock, and that's why I like them. That's, that's why I enjoy them. So, I'll throw a link down in the uh, description uh, if you want to pick some up, because uh, I know you want to. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not sponsored by them. <laughs> I probably should have said that in the beginning of this video, but yeah, no, I have no affiliation with any. I have no sponsors, guys. I just do this with my own money and my own time because it's fun. Hello, friend. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then the exhaust video uh, I got. So my dumb ass took the mic from my backpack and then put it in the tank, right? And I didn't close up my pocket that uh, my wallet's in. So I did those fast pulls. You better step on it now, Shubaru. Uh, I did those fast pulls back in the farmland, and uh, yeah, my wallet was just out and about, and I was tucked, right? So the wind goes over me, and uh, yeah, that could have been bad. I could have lost my wallet, and it's that would be crazy, because I'm taking my wife on a surprise date tonight. I mean, she knows we're going on a date, but she doesn't know where we're going, so that'll be kind of fun. Um, yeah, no, that would suck if I lost my wallet, especially back there. A donkey would have gotten it or something. Mule, same thing, I think. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, always open to feedback. This was just a fun. I got a new part for the bike and I uh, wanted to try out the mic in a different way, so hope you liked it now. Alright guys, have a great weekend. Enjoy it. This be the corn. Later. <laughs>